guys, we're here with me today, Kiara. Let's walk creativity all the way from Durban, South Africa. So we've got a pretty fun activity today that we're doing using some kitchen appliances. So you better ask mom if you can go get. And you're gonna need some wools. We've got wools, you can use string, you can use a shoelace, you can use anything. So your essentials will be your string, wool, a toothpick, you, if you don't have a toothpick, a bobby pin, if you don't have a bobby pin, you can use a matchstick, whatever you can find. Then you're gonna need a little bit of sticky tape or masking tape, if your dad has duct tape in the garage. And what you're gonna do is you're going to take the end of your string or your wool, and you're gonna stick it on the tip of the toothpick, and you're going to take your sticky tape and you're going to wrap it round. Then once you've got it round, you should have your string and your pipe like this. Then you're going to take mom's sieve that she normally uses for her pastas and you are going to thread it through. Now, threading it through, you can make designs, you can make patterns, you can swap colors, you can use different color walls, you can use different color cotton walls and you can do whatever works best for you to make it fun and friendly. And moms and dads, the reason that this activity is so awesome is because we're working with bilateral movement which means that the left and the right side of the body are both working and that's going to help to build neural pathways between those both sides of the brain. Um, over and above that, we're working with hand-eye coordination, with accuracy, and it's also working with imagination. After a while, the child won't really see that it's a sieve and they'll start to just see the patterns that the string or will is making on the sieve. Another activity that you can use with the sieve, if you happen to have pipe cleaners or even kebab sticks lying around the house, you can take those pipe cleaners, which Kiara will show you now, and you can put the pipe cleaners into the little holes in the sieve. You can do different things. If it's an older child, they can bend it over and put the other side into another hole and make a more three-dimensional uh, take on things. Um, if it's a younger child, they can just put it through one hole and use a whole lot of different pipe cleaners to almost make a spiky hair look type of effect. <laughs> Okay, moms and dads, this is an awesome, awesome activity. It can keep the kids busy for hours and then you just keep asking them to add different colors. And the older they are, the thinner you make the string just so that it can be a little bit more difficult for them. You're also working on some hand strength there and fine motor skills, which will be amazing for when they need to hold pencils and pens in their hands. So thank you so much for staying connected and here we are, you've been sparked.